This is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today we're going to be looking at uh, the application.load level method. So let's open up our scene and our scripts. Now you'll notice I've done a little bit of cleanup over here because we're going to be at, starting to add a lot of stuff so it's going to be a little messy. So I've broken up our scenes into a scene folder and the scripts into a script folder. And because I've moved the scenes from being in the assets folder to a scenes folder that's inside the assets folder, we're going to have to re-add those to our build settings. So let's just open this up. We'll select both of them and just drag them in. Now it's important to note that the order of these scenes up here does matter because the very first scene up here is going to be the one that's loaded from the player when you build your game out. And it's going to be the first scene that the player use, sees. Okay, so let's make a new scene. And we'll just save it right away. Now, we're going to want to save it into the Scenes folder. And I'm just going to call it Demo2. Hit Save. Make sure we're in Demo2. I'll save up here. Now, I'm not going to need the camera in this scene, so I'm going to get rid of it. But I am going to add create empty. Now we're going to add just a cube. There we go. That's all we're going to add to this scene. Now let's go to our script for the demo scene one, which is our application class demo. And right at the end of the start, we'll add the actual command to application dot load level additive. Now this works pretty much the exact same way that the other load levels does. It takes a, an int or a string and I'm going to use a string. Demo2. Let's make sure that we've actually added that to our build settings. We have not. We're in Demo2 so we'll just add it to the current. And let's talk about the command for a bit. So we explained before that add or sorry, the application load level and the application load level is sync. What it does is it loads another level. Let's say, for instance, the load level. It stops the level you're on. It loads the other level in the background. Then, when that level's done loading, it switches you to that level. And with the add, with the load level of sync, it, the level you're currently on continues to run until the other level's loaded. And then it switches to that level. Well, with load level additive. What it's going to do is load that level up in the the background, well, it's not really loading up in the background because it, it'll stop the level you're on, but it'll load this level here up and then it's going to add it to the level you're on. With the load level of sync, it loads it up into the background and then adds it, but we'll be looking at that in the next tutorial. So, after I've said all of that, what's, what exactly does it do? It gives you a way to be able to climb different scenes in your game and uh, to make it appear as if it's one scene. So, let's take a look. Demo 1, remember that was where we just had a, a bit of text that spit out the side here telling you certain things about uh, the user's uh, language settings and whatnot. In Demo 2, we have this little tiny cube. Let's zoom in. There's a cube there. So let's go to the main menu, start it up, hit load demo level 1, and there's our cube. Let's make that a little bit bigger so the person can see it. If you notice in demo level one, I've also gone ahead and added a directional light. Uh, let's go to, I think I've adjusted my camera. Yes, I have. So if we put this back to zero, zero, there we go. So again, main menu. When we hit the button to load up the demo level one, as you can see, it also loads demo level 2 as well. So it gives the appearance that both are in the same level, but they're different. Now we're going to be using this technique a little later on when we start creating different trains, and we're going to use uh, scenes as placeholders for all these different trains, and we're going to stitch them all together to give the appearance of a much larger world for our character to run around in than what he actually has. So in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at the async method for this.